My name is Lolibon de la Rosa. I'm from Puerto Rico. I am an environmental engineering major at the Polytechnic University of Puerto Rico. Um, I've been working with Gerald Ullman. He's a senior research engineer at TTI, the Texas A&M Transportation Institute, for this summer internship. We have been doing safety analysis of a work zone cue warning system. Our purpose was to perform crash analysis to assess the benefits of implementing a smart work zone cue warning system, and such as portable strips and smart work zone systems. We had to collect a, a lot of data that of the lane closures, the night lane closures. It has the closure ID, the start and end date, the time, um, the direction of the lane closure, if it was northbound, southbound, if there was a queue or not. And to know if there was a queue or not, we had to go through the data collected by a Bluetooth travel mo time monitor. If there was a queue, you can see it, the, the graph like dips in. If there was not a queue, you can, like, you can visually see that there was not. Um, to go through the vendor list, that is uh, the data, the system implementation data, we, to see if this dates match through the dates of the lane closures to know if there was a rumble strip or not that night. We, I created a, a macro that reads through the vendor list dates to see if these dates match through the data we already had to see if there was a portable strip that night or a smart work queue, smart work zone system. And then after having this information, we, the nighttime lane closures were divided into six conditions. If there was a queue or not in the night, if there was a rumble strip and um, a smart work zone system or a rumble strip and a smart work zone system. And when these conditions were what we had to analyze to see if the, these um, systems were, the system implementation was being effective, like to reduce crashes during lane closures. So the results were that the nights that there was a portable strips, rumble strips, and or smart work zone systems were having a positive outcome.